<clears throat> that was a Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Joe Simpson. It is Saturday, the 20-something, 7th. And I wanted to just stop in and say, hey, so yeah, that just happened this morning, that blow up that you just saw. That was crazy. So Pat and I had set out on a new adventure today. We talked about going to a new place to go fishing. Uh, it was called Burke Lake. It's in Fairfax. You've probably seen SB Fishing, One Rod, all those guys that fish that lake. It is a highly pressured lake. But they do have a pretty decent population of snakeheads. And Pat had been mentioning, I'd say one or two weekends ago, hey, you know what we need to do? We need to go over to Burke Lake and see if we can catch a snakehead. So him and I were watching some videos over the last couple of days. Got all pumped up, ready to go. And, of course, we were there this morning. We thought we were early, 5.15, 5.30. I think there were already three boats in the water by the time we got there. Um, we run around the corner, caught a bass. I had a good blow up that I thought might have been a snakehead. We're pretty sure that blow up that he just had was a snakehead. I'm going to do a slow-mo breakdown of that video here in a second, and we'll see if we can figure out by the fins, because I think you can see the fins coming across if it's actually a snakehead. And there's also muskie in that lake. Um, it's just a giant pond, really, but they have muskie in there, too. So anyway, wanted to just chat with you guys. We're going to be doing a little fishing over the weekend. We're going to a place called Crusher tomorrow. It's got lily pads and topwater. We're we'll frogging for bass, and today we were trying and frogging for snakeheads with no luck. Uh, had a couple blow-ups, but they seem to be very inaccurate strikers. Like, they just miss completely. I, mine missed completely. His missed completely. Didn't even feel pressure. So, and you can see from his hook set, it just came flying right back at my face. So, um, anyway, it was a lot of fun. We hung out, did our thing till about 9, 9.30, and we got out of the water. It was getting kind of hot. Um, so, yeah, I don't have a ton of stuff this weekend um, to show you so far. Something that happened this week that was kind of cool. I had that, uh, you remember that jawbone popper? the white cheap popper that I got at Dick's for $2 and 50 cents. That thing's been producing like crazy. I used it last weekend, caught like 12 fish at one of our favorite ponds. And I was working this week and I decided to go buy a pond and just take a few casts and it was on the rod. So I just figured I'd throw that. And it wasn't even like early morning. It was kind of middle of the morning, uh, 11, 12. And I walked over to this corner and I was working it and I got it stuck in some weeds. And then all of a sudden I like yanked it and broke it free of the weeds and then I thought, well, it's all trashed up. I got to get it in and clean it out. And so I was reeling it in. You know how you reel in a popper fast? Sometimes they go underwater and it looks like bubbles kind of fall across their face and they make like a bubble stream. Well, lo and behold, when I was doing that, I caught a three pounder. There was no skill of mine involved there, but you know, it happened. I caught a fish. It went around a tree. It took me 10 minutes to get it out. I wish it was on video. I didn't have my camera. I didn't expect to catch anything. And that's how it always goes, man. So just put on those GoPros whenever you think you might be fishing because you never know. It could be the day. I'm going to try to maybe do a video tomorrow talking about halo fishing rods in more detail. I got a couple halo fishing rods about a month ago. I wanted to use them for a while before I could tell you what I think about them. I like them a lot. Um, there's some things I would like to see different, but all in all, they're pretty darn good, especially for the price. Um, so I'll be talking about those tomorrow, Sunday, and hopefully sharing some catches from tomorrow morning in the Sunday video. You guys take care. I'll see you later. Bye. First time on Burke Lake with Pat. We're out here uh, maybe thinking, trying to catch some snakeheads. They make it look easy on YouTube, but I have a feeling it may not be as easy as we think it is. Apparently they're very spooky fish. I mean, Pat, why aren't we fishing some of this? We can. All right, let's, let's go over here and fish. Yeah. I mean, I'm not seeing action, but well, that, this is where people can fish. I don't know. It's funny, you get in the lake and you want to just take off. All right, I'll just start working here and go across. Yeah, I want to be back in it. I'm going to fish it as deep as I can. So I've got the big fat ass rod. Put the afterburners on and stop it. Yeah, something blew up in that in that grass mat. It was huge. I mean, it was a huge blow up. Let's just say it that way. Yeah, I did just did the same thing. Uh oh. I think that's probably one of them. All right. On the books early. All right. So standard pound and a quarter.
All right, look at that. Double horns, Pat, you'd be proud. Nice, right through the, right through the mouth. Didn't look like much of a hook set, but... Uh, all right. We are on the books. Boards, books. Oops. I just got stuck. <laughs> Dude, I think the way that was moving. That may have been a thing. Yeah, the way that was moving. Did you see that? He kind of swirled back on it. Uh, he never touched it. He never touched it. Hit him again. Yeah, I will. Get in there if you can. Where he's still going. <clears throat> that was a snake. That was a beast. Whatever that was. Holy shit. Yeah, they're not real accurate. All right, let's get a look at this up close. This thing comes out of the water, and right off the bat, the head does not look big like a bass. And it shoots over to the right-hand side, and it looks like there's a lot of body left. And right there, you can see the tail kick. So that's a long fish. So that was either like a muskie or a snakehead, and I'm willing to say that was most likely a snakehead. What do you guys think? Comments below, baby. All right, thanks.